For the first time in the history of professional bowling, ESPN presents a truly unique round-robin match play format, complete with stadium atmosphere. Four players competing simultaneously in front of thousands of cheering fans. ESPN and the PBA present the championship round finals of the AMF Dick Weber Classic. Heading up tonight's championship round, one of the most prolific, perfect game performers in the world, Bob Learn Jr. Qualifying in the number three position, 10-time PBA champion Parker Bone III, who dominated this finals field in match play. Joe Furpo is a man on a mission this evening. The talented right-hander is in search of that ever-elusive first PBA singles title. And after a brilliant week of pressurized match play, 30-year-old John Mazza will have to continue his winning ways if he hopes to secure a shot at $60,000 in first place prize money. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the Arthur Ashe Jr. Athletic Center located in Richmond, Virginia. Hi, everybody. I'm Denny Schreiner, along with Mike Durbin. And, Mike, a sensational new format on display here this evening down in Richmond. Should be a lot of fun. Let's get to the rules because they are a bit complex. Yeah, they are a little bit complex. It's a round-robin format. We have four players that have qualified for the telecast, and they're all going to be bowling at the same time. There'll be two games going on simultaneously. In game number one, the first-place qualifier takes on the fourth, while number two bowls the third-place qualifier. Then we move on to game number two. One bowls three this time, while two takes on four. And in the third game, we have the first place qualifier taking on number two, while the third place qualifier takes on number four. Keep in mind that there's a 30-pin bonus for every game that a player wins. For example, if John Mazza should bowl 220 the first game and win that game, he gets 30 pins added to that, or the equivalent of 250. Also, the number one qualifier, who is John Mazza, the first three games gets the bowl on the pair of lanes that he chooses, but the title game's going to be on lanes three and four. In that your, <laughs> that's exactly clear. Oh, I've got it to a T. Um, Mike, one other thing I'd like to ask you. In your 20 years of competing out on the national tour, you never had an opportunity to bowl in a stadium-type atmosphere. It is sensational, but will it be a distraction to the professionals? Danny, I don't think it'll be a distraction. I think it'll be just the opposite. I think it'll be exhilarating, get the adrenaline pumping, and make the players perform even better. I really expect high scores tonight, Dan. High scores for high stakes. Keep in mind, first place this week were worth $60,000. Opening matches set to start. John Mazza, his first opponent, Bob Learn Jr. And on the other pair of lanes, Joe Furpo against left-hander Parker Bone the third. Crowd revved up Mike Durbin for history on ESPN. Yeah, band playing ahead of time. They're cheering like crazy. I feel like I'm in a football game. This is like tag team. <laughs> well, not quite. Almost. Well, Boz is the tournament leader. He'll open it up on lane number one. Evidently, that's the pair that he likes. I think the fans are going to see plenty of strikes here this evening. Well, they threw a lot of strikes in practice from both the right and the left. Bob Learn Jr. playing the outside angle, opens up with a strike on lane three. I think, Mike, what will be most interesting about this format, you and I have been talking about it for years as Furpo sticks and almost strikes, is that this is almost like a position round format where there's one, more than one match going on uh, at, at one the, time. It's, well, that's, well, we've talked about that frequently and have visions of trying to get that final game a match play on TV is Parker Bone strikes, but this gives the, the fans a flavor of what it's like. Furpo is stuck on the opening shot, cross lane with the 10 pin. Should keep in mind, too, that something we didn't cover at the top of the show was that the two players with the most number of pins with bonus pins are going to bowl for the title in the final game. So after three matches, we're down to two players. Right. We'll and they'll bowl for the title. We'll eliminate two of these guys after three matches. Parker Bone had a sensational shot in practice. That might be the first time that we haven't seen him hit the pocket. It is the first time I haven't. He banked that out to the gutter, and it overreacted. Urkel oh, no! dices the five. Fans already beginning to pick their favorites. Parker cross lane at the 478. He'll throw hard and straight at this. 
No trouble with the spare. I would think, Mike, wouldn't you, that this might even be an easier type of a format for the pros? Well, Mazda thinks it's easier. Um, you get into a routine. I mean, it can and it can't be, Dan. I mean, if you get into a routine and you're striking, yeah. But if, if, you, if you're struggling and everybody else is striking, it can kind of play on your mind. As Learn leaves the 2-8. Bob Learn Jr. had bowled in a regional here in the Richmond area a few years ago and really has developed a strong following. Probably bowled a couple of 300 games as he's got 47 of yeah. them. So. He probably tossed a few down here. Mazza had a 300 game this week. Asking for a little help and he got it. I think he was yelling hook, hook. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's up the plane. Same thing. At the 2-8. No trouble. Michael, what about the difference? These players bowled 46 games on wooden lanes. Now they switch to synthetics. This particular synthetic is uh, AMF's uh, premier line. Everywhere it's been, it's been high scoring. Then. So I don't see that that's going to affect one way or the other. I think the scores are going to be good. Everybody's going to hit the pocket. It's going to be a matter who carries. Fans still filing in at this beautiful facility in Richmond, Virginia. Right-handers did tell me that lane three was a little bit tighter than lane four. We should mention that we have two huge scoreboards at the end of the uh, lanes on either side with each match on that scoreboard so the fans can see what's happening. As Furpo gets his third in a row. He and Mazza locked in a high-scoring affair. Mazza has started with the first three. Meanwhile, Parker Bone trying to get back on track. And high again. All of a sudden, I can't believe it. Parker leaves a 2-4-7. See the scoreboard over Mazza's shoulder there. Now Mazza's having no trouble. He's picked the right pair to be on. Seems to be low-keying it here to start game number one. Well, you can't, I mean, this is not just a one-game match. I mean, uh, the winner here is going to bowl four games. Everybody's going to bowl three. As I mentioned, uh, seven strikes and eight frames between Mazza and Furpo. Mazza up by ten. Right now. Parker trying to get himself back on track as Mazza takes a re-rack on lane number one. He's already thinking of the 300. Parker high one more time. He's going to have to make a move there, Dan. I mean, suddenly these lanes are different for him. Now he's got to make an adjustment move. I would think right a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he is considering as we speak. Mazza, meanwhile, has the first five. Remember earlier this summer in July, the Hilton Hotels Classic, he put on a sensational performance. Yeah, Walter Ray remembers it very well. Yeah. Mazza shot 267. Came from behind. At the 247. Has the spare, but spares aren't going to win here, Denny. Other thing you have to consider, though, is the fact that even if Parker would lose this first game, a couple of big games and then those bonus pins puts him right in the title match. Furpo had the solid eight. The head pin, I think it was, came off the wall and got it. I'm not sure which pin it was that came off the wall and got it, but it was one of them. Get a replay on it. Well, it was impossible to tell what came out of the pit there and got that eight. In live action, Bob Learn got a double. First match, uh, first double on lanes three and four. Furpo trying to even up the match on lane number one. Get the break of the eight pin going out and don't take advantage of it. You kind of talk to yourself then, Dan. Learn Jr. beginning to heat up and get a feel for lanes three and four. At the two pin, no trouble, dead center. Joe Furpo taking full advantage of the relaxed dress code. Yes, full advantage. Yep. Longer hair, goatee. Parker swinging a little more and better shot. Still 
not a strike. Solid seven pin. But at least back in the pocket. At least back in the pocket. But that's little consolation as he's knowing he's competing against the other two guys over on one and two also. And they're ripping them apart. All right, uh, spare up for Parker Bone the third. He trails in his opening match against Bob Learn Jr. John Mazza, who has started with the first five, leading thus far as we look at the Learn Parker Bone match. Parker has been high twice on this lane. See what kind of adjustment he makes here. Move a little bit right, swing it from the left, which he did. And it still went high. This time he paid the full penalty, the four, six, seven, ten. Got to get it right on the left side here. Four, seven, ten. Maybe the first open of this opening match. In the situation he's in, then he's got to go for it. I mean, uh, I mean, as high as these scores are, 180, and you could be out of it. And it came out of the channel, but that does not count. It's seven out. Gave it a run. Parker Bone shaking his head. Bob Learn with the lead. John Mazza has the first five. We'll be back to Richmond, Virginia, right after this commercial break. When sports cream, when arms are sore, when legs ache, when muscles hurt. Why sports cream? Massaging sports cream in brings fast pain relief. No medicine smell, no odor. Why sports cream? Because it works. This is not your ordinary motor oil. It's Mobile One synthetic oil. Why do you need it? Well, if something goes wrong with your car, engine temperatures can soar. Mobile One can handle the heat, even above 470 degrees. Furthermore, after 200,000 miles, test engines reveal virtually no scoring, no damage to vital parts. Why take chances? The extra protection you need is available in a container of motor oil. Mobile One. RPM. It'll rev up your game. The championship round finals of the AMF Dick Weber Classic are being brought to you by Mobile One, the leading synthetic motor oil. And by Sports Cream, fast pain relief and no odor. Back at the Arthur Ashe Jr. Athletic Center in Richmond, Virginia. John Mazza with a five-bagger thinking about a perfecto, perhaps. And an opportunity to take advantage of the fact that uh, Furpo did not strike on lane one. Right back in there. He's still perfect. A hitch of the pants. A quick wave to the audience. And Mazza continues to X. Well, you throw them all the one-two like that. No taps so far. Bob Learn taking a re-rack on lane four. He's up by 43 pins over Parker Bone. What with this many players out there, could a, could a guy sneak in an extra re-rack, do you think? <laughs> well, that's up to Mike Sands, the acting tournament director, not to let that happen. It'll be cross-eyed by the time this one's over. <laughs> Mazza's got him revved up in game number one. Seven straight strikes. And don't forget, number 22, Kansas State taking on Kansas. Mm. And that'll be a war Thursday night, 7.56 p.m. on ESPN. And the 10th in for Bob Learn Jr. Purple. See, in a situation like this, if you were just bowling against Baza, which he is for the 30 pins, but overall he could be discouraged as he leaves another solid 10th, but he's still bowling better than the other two guys, so he knows that, you know, he's still in everything. Cross lane at the 10th pin. Well, you make a good point there, Mike. Uh, no reason to get your dauber down if you don't bowl particularly well in the opening game. Well, yeah, but you look how far Parker could be falling behind Mazza. Parker bowling at a 177 clip. Mazza hit me through 300. You're talking about 120 pins plus bonus right away. All right, but my point is, hey, don't worry about Mazza. What about the guy that's second? Well, that's true, yeah. Nevertheless, Parker's got to get his act together. Mm -hmm. He can be out of this in a hurry. The show will close quickly. Yeah, for him. <laughs> Furpo has bowled really well, and he's down by 32. Snaps a 10 out this time. All right, 
Kylie, first one since the first frame. I don't think there's any doubt that he's moving right with his feet. He's got to, but he still hasn't hit the one-two on this left lane, Denny. You can see, you know, he, he's not getting that one anywhere near the edge board, which seems to overreact for him. Maza. A little high, leaves the six pin. A wiggle of the six. Big shot here for Parker, then. Big shot right now. Round of applause for Mazza. Oh, big shot. He needed that one desperately. A beautiful adjustment for Parker Bone, who's just trying to make up for lost time. Well, he cuts it down. He's only 33 pins behind this game. You know, he's got. He's the point. He's got to take it out. He can wire it out here for uh, what 207. 217. Yep, 217, which would be a long way back from 97 in the sixth. Steady Bob Learn back in the pocket. That's another double as he is cruising to a victory in match number one. He wants the pins, though. See, this time it's not just winning the game. It's accumulating those pins also that's important. Makes it a really interesting format. Mike, you're getting excited. You'd like to be down there playing in this one. Oh, well, for 60,000 first, yeah. Who'd be growling at everybody? <laughs> no, not Mellow Knight. <laughs> oh, shit. Debbie, if you're listening, you know it's not true. Oh! Bob Learn begins to play to the auditorium audience. Furpo with a big shot coming up for him in the ninth frame as we see a replay of the 10 pin going down for Learn. Furpo carries his 10 pin. There's Learn's reaction. Parker desperately needing strikes. And gets it. Boy, he's looking now. Just give me the first one of the 10th. Let me get 200 out of this game, and I'm happy. See, what you're watching now with Parker is, is what happens week in and week out on the National Tour and match play. Guys bailing out games to pick up pins at the very last moment. Right. Even if they don't win the game. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It sure is. Furpo wearing the microphone. You know, Furpo can still win this opening game. Parker in the 200s now. One more, and he's in the two teams. And not out of this thing. I mean, Parker was on the deck. They were giving him the 10 count. And now, all of a sudden, he's counting 10. <laughs> Furpo gets this one. He's in the 250s. Bang. One more for 258. Mazza going in a 259 clip. How about that start? Parker trying to finish things off. Yeah, will get it? Nope. 206 with a spare, and he's not all that unhappy with that, that opening after the first seven frames or six frames. Terrific game by Joe Furpo. I mean, most guys would have been given up after watching a seven-bagger, but he did anything but came storming back to shoot 258. Malza now needing a spare and a strike to win this opening match. A strike on the first ball will do it. It's for the extra 30 pins. Pin. If they tie, then it's 15 pins apiece. If they tie for the title, well, that's a different scenario. Then, then it's a ninth and tenth frame roll. Then and you and I have to go pull out the rule book. Learn for another one. He can have the big game. Although he's just really keeping pace. One or two pins at this point is not a big thing. At the seven pin, has the spare, needs the strike for the win. Bob Learn with a possible 259. Meanwhile, Mazza in a precarious position. Drops the 10 pin out this time. He's in the 250s. So he got three. We predict the high scores three 250s and a 2 0. Parker feels like an orphan. For the win, that's an extra 30. Boy, what a great shot by Mazza. 259, 258 as he defeats Joe Furpo and add 30 bonus pins. Meanwhile, learn cruising with a strike here to 259 as well. And he'll be keeping pace with Mazza. Well, two 250s 
58 to number 59 to end the opening match. All right, an exciting start. Fast pace, to say the least. We'll be back to Richmond, Virginia with match number two right after this. Sometimes you can find the future in a corner of your past, even if the future seems a bit imposing. Because sometimes things really haven't changed, they've simply gotten better. And sometimes you find that things that meant a lot to you then can mean a lot to you now. And sometimes you can get something back you thought you might be losing. Bowling at BPAA centers, it's a whole lot more than a game. Clearview Lanes in Mount Joy. Dear Father, we have found a wonderful life in Pennsylvania. My Jenny has borne us a fine, handsome son, and thanks to our neighbors here in Donegal Township, we are now warm and secure in our own log cabin. It's glorious to see the good people of Donegal pitching in, clearing the land, shoeing the logs, and keeping the Indians at bay. We have all come to depend on one another here. You could always count on the good people of Donegal. Welcome back to the Arthur Ashe Athletic Center in Richmond, Virginia. A slight break after match number one. Some outstanding scoring. A 259 game along with a pair of 258s. As we see after the opening game, and that is, of course, with the 30 bonus pins added to Maza and Learn's total after the victories. And so those two are very close, just a pin apart after our opening game. Time now to head downstairs to. Mike Durbin and right. the namesake with Dick for Weber, the this tournament's tournament, namesake Dick here. Dick, um, a lot of honors have come to you over your career. Uh, career started a long time ago. Having a tournament named after you has to rank among those top honors. Well, it certainly does, Mike. It's a privilege and honor to have a name along the side of AMF, and uh, I'm just happy that uh, I was uh, able, able to be here and able to participate with all these fellas, and it was a great honor. Dick, your career spanned five decades. You've got a lot of accomplishments, 26 titles, all-star victories, senior victories. Any one particular thing that uh, you could say stands out? Well, Mike, uh, this is going down to my uh, record books here uh, and, and scrapbooks, uh, this event here, because I've never seen anything like this, and uh, next year we're coming back to Richmond to do this. So uh, it's a great pleasure, and this will be one of my thrills. Okay. We've had a taste of the uh, new format here, our opening match. We've got three 250s, uh, a lot of strikes. What do you think of it? I think it's wonderful. Uh, you know, 258, 258, 259, and, uh, and a 206. Uh, great bowling, and uh, I think we'll see a 300 game eventually. Well, that could be. You're making that prediction, huh? Oh, yes. I'll go out on a limb for that. Well, you've been on the senior tour now for, uh, what, 10, 12 years right now. Uh, is retirement in Dick Weber's vocabulary? No, uh, retirement is not in the uh, forecast, but uh, I just applied for Medicare. Okay, well, that's it for Dick Weber. He uh, likes our new format. Danny, you take it away. All right, thank you very much, Mike Durbin. The great one, the splendid splinter, Dick Weber. This was a little earlier. A standing O here in Richmond for Mr. Weber. Just one more strike for a 300 game. For the inside track on your favorite bowlers, become part of the PBA Fan Club. All fan club members receive the PBA Media Guide and show programs along with your official membership card. Also, for a limited time only, this Millionaire's Club poster is included. So don't wait, call it today. Call 1-800-299-4PBA for your membership in the PBA Fan Club. You're unbelievable. It's like ballet with a boom. Beat the ball. I like the action. It's action. A pinch of dust. Beat the ball. It's all in the beard. The grass. The approach. Mine. The shoe. You're unbelievable. <laughs> Come, buddy. You're unbelievable. Beer frame. I am the ball. Who loves your ball? You're unbelievable. <laughs> Or you can put in schleg locks. 
the Doberman of locks. My dandruff and itch are awful. I'll try anything. Denerex tingles. Head and shoulders doesn't. Both have effective dandruff medicine, but Denerex has something extra that tingles, feels fresh. That's why I started using Denerex. No flakes, no itch. Denerex, the serious dandruff shampoo. This is one long game. They even ran out of food. The fans must be hungry. Call for a large, two-topping, crunchy, thin-crust pizza and get a medium, one-topping pizza free. A beautiful look at the south side of Richmond, Virginia, overlooking the fantastic James River. A little chilly out there tonight, but clear. Oh, it's a nice fall night, Danny. But it is warm inside. Mazza, who likes lanes one and two, gets to stay there as the tournament leader. Why would you leave? Oh, the only way he wants to leave is to bowl for the title in three and four, Danny. What, he's going to have a couch and a television set there in another game. He may have uh, $10,000, too. I mean, <laughs> for a perfect game, obviously. John started with the first seven in our opening match, shot 259. Picking up right where he left off. Oh, oh, oh. And the lane holds for him. Learn is uh, making the safe side. He wants a rewrite. That's what he wants on lane two. Just trying to get somebody's attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, with all this action, it's difficult to do. A little bit. Parker back on the same pair he was on. So uh, he's got to figure this pair out. And still watching right, he's thrown up with the strikes. Well, it may not be Parker's night. Blowing 7-10 right out the gate. Has had a very solid year. Ten career titles. Meanwhile, Learn finally gets a full rack of pins. Let's see what he does with them. Obviously, just another disposal job. Well, everybody opens with strike except Parker. That uh, was pretty much the story of game number one. His mother, Jean, here tonight. Dad's on hand. His wife, Parker Bone, the fourth. BBIV. For the double on third, knocks out the 10th. Learn who can throw uh, strikes with the best of them. Till the cows come home. All right, back on track. Right, come on. Oh, trip six action. Uh, doesn't hurt to get a break now and then, too. Backdoor shot for Mazza, who will take full advantage. Meanwhile, Purple looking for a double. Oh! Oh, and he's waving at him as well. Well, the 10 pin looked like it was going to fall to the right. Didn't, and then fell backwards, actually, did. Fosbury flop of the 10 on four. Mazza going for three. Trip four, or trip six, well shot. And here's uh, Joe Furpo's 10 pin, as we can see. Boy, the breeze hit it then, nothing else did. Now it falls back the other way. And it goes. Live action, he stuffed it on lane three to take advantage of that break. Learn for three. And, oh, he sent that one way out there. Bob Learn loves this kind of condition. Parker needing a double desperately again, and boy. You can almost see Parker beginning to press, but who wouldn't when you're staring at a three-bagger to start? And we see. Yep. Our two leaders at the moment. If they continue to strike like this, Michael, you better get prepared to do like a, a bit of a tour of Richmond. <laughs> but we're going to have some time left in this baby. Parker converts to spare as Learn gets four in a row. Mazza now actually trailing for the first time in either match. But not 
not for long. Ooh, ten pins stood up. I can't see it from my angle. Mm -hmm. Parker with a strike the last time on this lane, comes back nicely, but he must figure out lane four in a hurry. Looks up here with kind of a wry smile, Parker did. Bowser so, converts to 10 pin. This almost looks like PBA League bowling. <laughs> almost. How would you like to join a PBA League? Big huh? question is, let me ask you this. Do you think the guys got together and, and put together a beer frame? No, I don't think they did. Oh, okay. No. That would be, of course, three guys striking and one yeah, guy not. Uh, Parker Parker be buying, buying all night. <laughs> Miles are right back in there, and Miles would be drinking all night. Learn, too. <laughs> and Furpo as well. In case you've just joined us, you do not have double vision. Please do not attempt to adjust your television set. There really are two matches going on simultaneously here in Richmond, Virginia. And well, they're throwing nothing but X's. I mean, that may look a little blurry on the screen there. Our director, Ken Samuel, has worked up a sweat in a game and a half out in the truck. <laughs> That's right. Call this shot nut shot. <laughs> Just cruising along, five in a row, going for six. Bob Learn with 47 career 300 games. Sanction. Oh, my God. Oh, he got the 10 pin out of there. Leaves only the two four. Big break there. Jim. He was happy about that. Absolutely. Bad shot. Parker's really swinging that one. Ooh, he may have found something with that. He sent that to the edge and back. Go left, young man. Go left. But you go too far, that, that blue board or whatever color that channel is, it doesn't come back from there. Oh, oh, he hit his ankle or something. He slipped is what he did and misses. It's 2-4, a relatively easy spare. Bob throws it in the channel. Right now, he is disgusted and distracted. I mean, that that can upset your, your whole rhythm and balance and, and concentration. Parker sends it out again and carries this one. I think the man's found something. He needs to. <laughs> and Bob Lerner needs to just calm down. He will. The pros putting on a show down in Richmond, Virginia. Back with the AMF Dick Weber Classic after this. And now, a simple demonstration of what gives AMF's new King Cobra its powerful combination of hook and control. To create the King Cobra, we adapted the core technology of our immensely successful Cobra Ball and added our new Strike R reactive resin. A little more. More. Come on now, don't be shy with it. That's more like The new King Cobra from AMF. With more reactive resin than we've ever put in a bowling ball. Green is ready to launch a new era in furnaces. Begin countdown. Five. Five years in planning. Four. Four years in development. Three. Three years in lab testing. Two. Two years in field testing. One. Now there's only one choice in high-efficiency furnaces. Quiet, tough, reliable. The new Rheem 90 Plus furnace. It's taking high efficiency to new heights. All systems are go. This is not a hobby, it's not a job, it's a career. Real estate is a people business. I get to be involved in what is one of the most significant things that people do in their lives. Century 21 means that I'm associated with the best of the best out there. Century 21 means to me an opportunity to be all that you can be, no matter who you are. If you wear this jacket and you really want to be an agent, the sky is the limit. Bob Learn sitting down. We had an opportunity to chat with him earlier today and ask him, what do you think about the brand new format? Well, it's all, all match play. Uh... You know, that's all we bowled for the tournament, so that was real exciting. All head-to-head -head match play. Uh, it made a lot more exciting, I think, for the fans to watch. And uh, I know it was a lot more exciting just uh, starting off, uh, you know, head-to-head -head like that for me. You know, when, I, when you're in qualifying, a lot of times, you just it's just kind of like you're going through the motions until you get to the match play. And uh, to start from uh, step one, right in the match play, really gives you a different, uh, a different uh, mindset 
as far as tournament goes. And uh, I think it's a great format. And uh, I, I hope we can continue to bowl some more tournaments like this. Maza trailing by five after the commercial break. And there's no problem with lane two. Well, the problem was Bob Learn slipped on lane one, wanted them to dust the approaches on lane one. John Maza said no, he didn't want it. Tournament director came over there. Scorpo gets another strike on lane four. They didn't do anything to the approaches. And, and Learn seems upset. Maza for three. Leaves the seven. So right now that matches within four pins over there. So what Learn needs to do is just gather his composure, forget that shot, and go on. He's got a good shot in the pocket. Ooh. Well, first real error. In fact, I think that's the first time a right-hander has failed a strike on lane three. Mazda with a spare, Jenny Schreiner and Mike Durbin. Live from the Arthur Ashe Athletic Center in Richmond, Virginia, with a unique format for our MF Dick Weber Classic. Four players making the telecast. It's a match play format all the way through. After three games of matches, we'll end up with two players, and they'll shoot for 60,000 in first place prize money. And believe it or not, as much as Parker Bowen has struggled tonight, if he strikes on this ball, he takes the lead in this match. And after losing his opening game, he needs a victory. Learn leaving the 10 pin on lane two. Folks, look out. There is no question in my mind that the youngster from Freehold, New Jersey, has figured that pair of lanes out. Well, the interesting thing there, Mike, is he's had two games to bowl on that pair. Consecutively, right? I mean, uh, you should figure out something two games in a row. Here's uh, the score with Mazen and Learn. The difference, four pins, both of them on spares, three frames to go. Parker for one more, sends it way out there. Here it comes. He's back from the dead. Bob Learn just hasn't gotten that shot or the approach out of his mind. If he leaves something that he has to shoot a spare on this lane, look out. All right, he, he can fly to that area of the approach. He's not worried about that. <laughs> well, the old adage is there. Don't leave anything on the left-hand lane. Herba crosses it right, tries to hook it back, tickles the seven, but it stands. You hear that? This lane's getting tighter, the other lane's hooking more. He had him just the opposite way in practice then. But what's great is, is now you're getting a feel for what the professionals go through in the championship round. Wow. See, so he just took that spare for granted. Normally, you know, he throws a, a rocket, a hard straight ball at the spares. That time he tried to hook it into that, hit the oil, and just didn't make it. Earlier this summer, you made a comment that really, really scored with me. Missed spares are like turnovers in football. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Ball, I tell you, this guy, different bowler than he used to be five years ago. All right, Purple, back in there. He can still bail this game out as we see the missed spare there on the seven pin. Crap. Learn needs a strike here in the ninth frame desperately. Sends it out. Perfect. That was about as an aggressive a shot as you're going to throw in that situation. He got it. He's a wrist player anyway. He got his whole wrist into that shot. I mean, a handful. Parker, ninth frame, five in a row. Really out to the twig. Oh, oh, Davis. Davis. 259 was a popular number in match number one. That's what he's thinking about here in game number two. Right. We can have two 250s over on one and two. Popular number, as you say. Learn unleashes another powerful shot on one, and guess what? 710. White breaks like that in the 10th frame, it'll just <laughs> turn a match around. Instead of shooting 250 now, he's going to shoot uh, 220. 
Parker back into it all the way. Starting to run him out. Parker knows it's there as soon as he lets it go. Learn trying to throw hard and bounce it out. Parker sliding out. Boy, they're fast and furious. What's going on here, boy? Hey, hey. All right, now just ease it on into the 10th frame here. Parker's already eased it into the 10th. Yeah, he's trying to put the finishing touches on a brilliant comeback. There's another one. One more, and it's 259, and old Parker Bones right back in the thick of things. Interesting, too. Ten strikes this game if he strikes on the football. Then with a pocket 7-10. Mazza trying to get into the 250. So, oh! Oh, John says, let me take one more look to see what happened on lane two. See, this happens all the time in match play, Ben. You get a horrible break with a pocket 7-10. Your opponent caves into 3-9. You're talking to yourself. Oh, man. And boom. Whap, whap, whap. Well, the comeback is complete with a brilliant 259. Meanwhile, Mazza looking to put another X on the board. Come on, Kerry. And oh, the 247 with company. Is the 610 up there, both? I can't see it. Mm -hmm. Horrible count. Purpo needs to finish this game out. Oh, what a nice break. You know, Joe, Joe shot 258 the first game, can shoot 222 this game and not win either game. You're Joe now, you just try and grab as many pins as possible, then the heat is really on him in match number three. Right. Uh, going for the count, I would think, here. Oh, oh my goodness. Finishes with what, 241? Man's very appreciative of that effort. And a handful there by Purple in the 220s. So Parker Bone gets 89 or 289 to go with 286. So what is it? That's 95, 495 for the first two. Mm -hmm. Purple, 258, 222. He'll be at what? Uh, 480 for the first two. So they're within 15 pins. Right. The final in the next game, the two lefties will bowl each other and the two righties will bowl each other. And anything could happen. Terrific action in match number two. Parker Bone, the star here in Richmond of that second match. As he came a long way back to shoot 259 and get himself a chance at that first place. Want something new with a lot of great taste? Well, I know where they make it. It's down at Long John Silver's now. Who'd have thought they'd make it? This ain't your Aunt Minnie's baked chicken and fish. It's new flavor baked chicken and fish from Long John Silver's. And now you can try our new flavor baked fish sandwich for just $1.79. Flavor baked chicken, flavor baked fish. Come on in and get your wish. Nobody makes it like Long John Silver's. Flavor bakes it. Long John Silver's. Go fish. I've stopped playing baseball now, but my son Reed just signed a pro contract. Sometimes we go over his game, and if he asks, I tell him what I know. Like when your muscles get sore, take Advil. Just a couple are strong, fast, and work for me. And Advil's gentle on my stomach. If it'll work on these old muscles, then I know it'll work on mine. Nothing's been proven to last longer than Advil. Advanced medicine for pain. It's a quarterback fake, and the pitch goes to ESPN. ESPN cuts right and takes the whole college football season and runs with it. Tomorrow at 8, the Kansas Jayhawks take on the K-State Wildcats. ESPN College Football. It's inspirational. This is the Dick Wepper AMF Classic. And because it is, for this week's Average Builder, I thought I'd like to look at the AMF Pin Spotter. Now, the original AMF Pin Spotter was invented back in 1953. That was the 8230 model. In 1963, they upgraded it to the 8270 model, of which this is a new and improved version of. Basically, it weighs 1,800 pounds. It holds 20 pins. And the way it works, well, we had a ball thrown earlier, and I'll try and describe exactly how it works. As the ball hits the pins, as we see it there, it hits a cushion, which triggers the machine. The ball then makes its way to the ball door. It goes up an accelerator belt, 
we see right there, and down through an underground ball return. The pins go underneath the cushion to the pinwheel we saw there, to the distributor pan and the distributor we see there. It feeds them to the deck, puts them in each different compartment for each number pin. There have to be 20 up there to cycle the machine. As we cycle the machine, we see the sweep come down, knock off any dead wood right there, then the deck brings down a fresh set of 10 pins. Looks simple, doesn't it? Some people think, though, that the invention of the automatic pin spotter was the single most revolutionary thing in the sport of bowling. I know I started bowling in the early 50s, and since then, I've seen this invention of the pin spotter. I've seen underground ball returns. I've seen automatic scoring. I've seen new and improved family entertainment centers as opposed to bowling alleys. I've seen computerized registers and computerized accounting. Truly, bowling has kept pace with the computerized 1990s. Be sure and join us next week from Indianapolis, where we'll have another average building. Okay, time now to tally up the total pins. Mazza with a 52-pin lead over Bob Learn Jr. A race right now, though, between Parker Bone and Joe Furbo. Trying to get to maybe that number two position. When we come back, match three. Maja and Parker Bone the third, the two lefties on one and two. And then Joe Furpo and Bob Learn Jr. will match up on three and four. the lowest prices for you be careful things are not always what they appear to be I'm Tom Berger owner of the bedstead my family and I sell top quality bedrooms bedding and water beds no games no surprises no gimmicks at the bedstead you will truly get the most value for your money you'll like our service after the sale too the bedstead the, the bedstead the bedstead for the rest of your life <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Arthur Ashe Athletic Center in Richmond, Virginia. National Tournament Director, at least filling in this week for Johnny Campos. Mike Sands orchestrating the boys here as we start match number three. And it boils down to that Maza definitely uh, is in the, the perfect position. He's 50-some uh, pins ahead of, of uh, second place Learn and 65 pins ahead of third place Parker Bohm. However, Parker's bowling him. But the chances of both of those guys going around him are remote. I mean, he keeps pulling the big games that he's bowling on lanes one and two. Pressure's on Parker, and the pressure is on both Learn and Furpo. Main point is, after this match is over, two players will advance in the championship game. Wow, exact same thing that Mazza left in the 10th frame on that pair. That can't be made. The good thing is he doesn't lose any count. By Learn to bowl 250 on this pair of the opening game, likes it. Doesn't tough have thing, to worry about the approach. Tough thing for Parker Bone is that he hasn't bowled a game yet on one and two. Right. He was he the got, only player that did not have an opportunity to bowl in the other pair. Yeah, but he got a few practice balls over there. Not like bowling the whole game. That's true. Oh, what a shot! He's not giving up. Parker sent it out to the edge, hits the two pin thin, into the six, and it was the other pin. I think it was the the two. No, it was the four. So I don't know what pin it was that got the ten. <laughs> One of them. Won the ball. Purpo started with a strike. Mazza back on one and two, doing nothing but striking. And I think you're right. I think he's almost a lot to make it into the title match. Purpo. On lane three. Off of the freewheeling double. He's got a strike, and he knows he can't stop. <laughs> 300 might not be enough. Not against Bob Learn Jr. Meanwhile, back to Mazza. He's had both lanes, the entire lane. He's carried high, low. He's tripped him. He's spun him out. He's done everything. And he's got breaks, too, carrying that 3-9 and the 10. 
leaves the 3 6 10. See, the, the span gets a little shorter this game, did. Over torqued it. Looked like he tugged it just a hair. Learn 3 6 10. No trouble. Straight, hard, that's, what, that's the way I think you need to make the spares. Seems the way all the pros do it nowadays, especially for spares on, on their opposite side. Right-handers on the right side, left-handers on the left. See what Parker does on lane one now. Figures it out, man. Great shot by Bob Learn on lane three. Errant shot there. We had a chance to talk with John Mazza and asked him, how long do you think it'll take you to get lined up? It's really hard for me to estimate accurately how long it's going to take me to adjust to the lane tonight at the Arthur L. Center. Uh, I practiced uh, yesterday, and uh, the lanes have been redressed, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'll let my ball be the guide, as Harry Golden used to say, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Had a good guide thus far up until that shot where he missed the baby split. A uh, very poor shot at the spare. He just uh, didn't get it off his hand clean, tried to throw it straight, kind of hung in the thumb. So he's uh, opened the door for Parker. Purple. Oh, what a nice break for four in a row. Pressure's on learn right now. Big time. Herpo fired up. Aza, definite chink in the armor here. Leaves the two and the four high two times in a row. Learn. Hold up. Trip for 10. It did. Well, it's an obedient ball. Might you never do that, I'll think. <laughs> All I remember was Trevino. He used to say, you know, you, you can talk to that fade, but that hook isn't going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> in this case, the hook listens once in a while. Yeah. There's the scoreboard. Learn. Had some really high scoring affairs. Learn up on his tiptoes, begging for another strike. Well, take advantage of that trip for you got to. That's what Pete Thomas always used to do. Got him into the ABC Hall of Fame. Parker trying for three. Bang! Would this be a story if he came back to finish in the final two? PBA Commissioner Mike Connor on hand, Dick Weber as well, the namesake for this tournament. If anybody in this building appreciates what's going on right now, it's probably Dick Weber. Yeah. They played a song for him at the opening, you know, during the mm. player introductions. It's marvelous. We got this band over here that uh, kills our eardrums in between commercials. Well, it's and the everything. Freds. We got to give them credit. It's the second most dangerous band in Richmond, Virginia, I believe. The Freds. Oh, uh, Parker is just wheeling it now. Four in a row. Denny, I don't know if I can add all these scores up at the end here. We're gonna <laughs> try to get a feel here of what's happening. Short pin, short message there. Parker with that perfect follow through. Yes. <laughs> Maza asking it to hold, and it did. Strikes a fly in here, Michael. And of course, what makes professional bowling so great is that the payers are played, or paid, I should say, to strike. Purple with a converge, spare conversion. Maza with a re-rack request on lane one. He's trying to get uh, Mike Sands' attention. Mike Sands will relay that by radio set to the back end, and they'll whip off a uh, new rack. Machines have performed admirably here this evening. And don't forget, as soon as we are done throwing punches here, we'll head out to Al and Joel there, I believe, in Atlantic City. Top-ranked boxing coming your way at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So a couple of outstanding fights.
set to start. Parker with a spare and a four bagger. And there was a little miscommunication there on the request for the re-rack, so they finally got it. In the meantime, Mazza tore off a little piece of tape. You see the scissors over. You can't see them. We're looking at the score, but he put in another little fresh piece of tape. Wants to get a double to get him back himself back on the plus side here of the 200 barrier. Trailing in this match right now. All right, after the handiwork, Miles are ready to shoot on lane one. Trading by 34 pins, can knock it down to 24 with a strike. Ask and ye shall receive. Hook is what he wanted, that's what he got. And we'll leave you with this beautiful view of the Jefferson Hotel, which was the site of a fabulous dinner. The honoree, of course, the great one. The way I see it, the last thing people 50 and over should do is stay home sitting on their duffs. You gotta do things you've never done. You gotta go places you've never been. You gotta call 1-800-4-CHOICE and reserve a room at any quality, comfort, clarion, or sleep hotel where people 50 and over who don't want to sit on their duffs can get a 30% discount. No, getting older is not for sissies. The Ninja RPM. It'll rev up your game. My dandruff and itch are awful. I'll try anything. Denerex tingles. Head and shoulders doesn't. Both have effective dandruff medicine, but Denerex has something extra that tingles, feels fresh. That's why I started using Denerex. No flakes, no itch. Denerex, the serious dandruff shampoo. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Parker Bone the third, trying his best to uh, come back from uh, a very poor first game. But uh, before it's all said and done, he may end up in the championship game. Keep in mind our uh, our format, all match play here this evening. Four players bowling two matches simultaneously. After we're done with this game, we'll be down to two players, and they'll shoot for the title. Parker trying for five in a row. He's in a position where he really can't afford to stop striking. But he is. Leaves the seventh in. Had the message coming at it, but it didn't hit it. Now learn up on lane four, trying for four in a row. to bail out of that shot early. Well, it's getting there near the end. And I mean, it's just the pressure's uh, mounting with each successive shot. Parker converts the seven pin. At the six pin, has it. There's the score between Learn and Furpo. You can see 288, 220 to 258, 221. Furpo hasn't won a game yet, but he's in the 230s right now. Learn trying to get back on the strike track on lane three. Turns it out. Perfect. I don't think he's missed that lane yet. Much better shot there. Stayed with it a lot longer. Got it on line. Miles are working on a double in the seventh frame. And he's about to solidify his position for a shot at 60,000. Well, the big thing is here, I mean, if he would win the game, Bone would almost have no chance. And he's, if he gets one more, he's only three pins behind. Purpo leaving another soft 10. Purpo still ahead in the match by 20 pins. Ooh, out to the edge. Leaves the 10 pin, though. Boy, he really banked that. Went from zero to nine. <laughs> Almost went from zero to split. Purpo at the 10 pin. No trouble. Right now, Mazza's in, it would seem like. Uh, I don't see any way he could miss at this point in time. At the 10 pin, has it. 160 over to start with. He's 175 right now. Using 200 as a par, then. 560 if you're using total pins and right now he's going at uh, 775. 
Purpo. Eight frame strike. Ball held pocket beautifully for Furpo, who is hanging on for dear life right now. Big shot for Parker. Big, big shot. Out to the edge, back to the pocket, knocks the seven out. Equally big shot for Learn, who went high almost Brooklyn on this lane the last time. I think if he stays with his shot a little longer, Mike, he'll be all right. Come on, hold on. Hit! Hit, it did. Corrected the mistake, hung on. Nice shot there by Learn for the double. Parker has to have this one then in the ninth frame. Didn't quite happen. It overreacted and went high. Leaves only the four pin. Now Learn, who hasn't missed this lane. Likes it. Oh, yeah, he likes it. That puts him one pin ahead in the match. Parker's still not dead. Has to make the spare. Has it. Parker, the best he can get is 248. And if he would win, that would be 78 pins. Would put him 173 over. Burpo for the double puts him in the lead in the match. Herpo with a possible 268. Meanwhile, Maza cruising on into that title game. Cruising on in. Seems like every shot is critical now. It is. It absolutely is. Herpo to have any chance. Oh, and he crept high, a little soft on that speed. him in he's in the title match no matter what he can finish it out for 235 Parker going to 238 pace Purple makes the spare tell you what makes this such a difficult format Mazza leads the tournament then has to bowl his tail off just to get into a title opportunity right he did get an initial 5,000 for leading the tournament so if he would win the 60 plus the five, it's a huge week for him. Maja now spinning on the floor. We've seen that routine. He's ready to give it a shot for 60,000. Furpo trying to finish it out. Does 247. Took their last shot. Learn needs the first one for sure to be able to beat him. John Mazet will be one of the two players vying for the Dick Weber AMF Classic. Has to have it. Hit, hit. Oh, did. He hasn't won yet, though, Dan. Nine in a spare, he's a winner, and he advances, Bob Learn. Parker still has a chance if he strikes out, but not if Learn gets the nine in spare. Mm -hmm. Keep the heat on. This is just like the position round game, the final night of match play. Don't think that Learn's not looking at him either. You okay. better believe it. Ten Parker can make it because Learn cannot win the game now. with a possible 248.
which would give him 78 pins. And he's in. I mean, uh, it's going to be the two lefties. Bob Learn ever so close. A dejected, despondent player who gave it one a heck of a try. But Parker Bode, who started slowly and just picked it up, will face Mazza. Fans really getting into this. And those two guys right there have survived the format. Mazza realizing that he's going to get to the title match, thinking about 60,000. And he'll take on another lefty. Oh, he's going stage right on one knee. Parker Bone the third. When we come back, they're going to shoot for 60,000 in first place prize money. Don't even think about going away. Sports fans, you've seen the best. Now, Mark Albert's here to show you the rest. Lots of horsing around in the world of sports. There's 45 minutes of non-stop fun in Marv's great new video, the hilarious Albert Achievement Award. And best of all, your video's free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. In this great new video, Marv captures all the amazing footwork, agility, grace, and power that makes sports so much fun to watch. Hysterical! Call now and you'll also get your choice of an authentic NFL Pro-Line hat. Free! Pick your favorite team. It's up to you. The Albert Achievement Awards video and the NFL hat of your choice make a great gift for yourself or your favorite sports fan. And it comes with 54 issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.39 an issue. Save over 52% off the cover price. For quicker delivery, use your credit card. Nobody's into sports like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Downsizing. Downsizing. The government's downsizing. Corporations are downsizing. Is Burger King the only place upsizing? Look at their new cheeseburger. 75% more beef than McDonald's cheeseburger. Who else is doing that? Add a drink and fries, all for only $1.89. Now that's a big deal. Upsizing. Might not be a word, but what a concept. You with me? Burger King. Get your burgers worth. Cold sufferers, if your pill's so good, how come it doesn't work 24 hours? Ephodac 24 does. Other pills last 6 hours or 12, but one Ephodac relieves 24 hours. Ephodac keeps cold symptoms from coming back. When sports cream, when arms are sore, when legs ache, when muscles hurt. Why sports cream? Massaging sports cream in brings fast pain relief. No medicine smell, no odor. Why sports cream? Because it works. Tonight at 9 Eastern, former world champion Charles the Natural Murray clashes with Ray Oliveira. Top rank boxing on ESPN. Normally fifth is good enough to make it to a championship round. Not this week. Dave Husted collecting 12,000. Norm Duke back in line. Good to see him uh, in that situation. Sixth and Steve Hoskins having a big year. He was seventh. And in number eight position... Wizard of Oz, David Ozio, Walter Ray, number nine, and solid left-hander, Jess Stayrook, number ten. On down the list, Alberto Monticelli. Ah, there we go. Bob Spaulding, 12th this week, and Brian Voss, fresh off that win from Japan. Bob Spaulding, two 300 games. 14th, Dave Arnold, we've seen him a couple times. Randy Peterson, the winner in Mechanicsburg. Dave Dantremont, the winner earlier this summer. Elsewhere down the list, Steady Don Mosier was 17th, Brian Goble 18th, and John Handegard representing the senior section 19th. And Justin Romick, Thomas Holt, the ABC champion, all events champion, Chris Warren in the number 22 position. Very talented field, international as well. Rainier Kussi from uh, Germany was uh, 23rd. You got that name. Yeah. <laughs> Also, Brian Graham and, uh, who was it, Dave Garber? And Pete Weber, number 26. Doug Kent from Canandaigua, 27th. And, of course, the legend, Mr. Weber. That's right. He eased it on in in 29th. And then the Japanese representative, Matsui, finished up 30th this week. Don't want to try that first name, huh? Uh, well, he's not here. I, I'll call him Mr. Matsui. Okay. Matsui-san. Ah, huh. yes. <laughs> 
Okay, I don't know what they're cheering about here, but they're so revved up right now, folks, that uh, just about anything sets them off here in Richmond. All right, to get to the title match, John Mazza defeated Furpo, 259-258, in a thrilling opening match, and it was uh, a second-round victory over Bob Learn Jr., 241-220, and then a loss to Parker Bone the third. but nevertheless, John Mazza locked himself in with 60 bonus pins. And a total of 794, including those bonus pins. Not bad. Parker Bones Road opened up rather roughly. Lost to Bob Learn, 258 to 206. Came back strong after an opening split to defeat, defeat Joe Furpo, 259 to 221. And of course made that clutch double in the 10th frame, winning 248 to 234. 60 bonus pins, 773 is the total. Comeback kid, Parker Boehm the third, John Mazza waiting patiently because these two lefties in front of these thousands of fans will bowl for thousands of dollars. This is one long game. They even ran out of food. The fans must be hungry. Call for a large, two-topping, crunchy, thin crust pizza and get a medium one-topping pizza free. How does your Genie screwdriver door opener work? Push the button on the garage and the door opens just like that. As opposed to a chain, and if you've ever seen a chain on a bicycle, you'll know that a jerk, 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 uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Uh, 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 uh. Genie screwdriver, built for a lifetime. Your doctor said, what? Listen, if you're a woman and you get heartburn, should you take these which have aluminum and magnesium, or should you take new Tums Ultra with calcium? Tums Ultra Tablets, which dose for dose neutralizes more acid than my Lanta regular strength or regular Maalox. And gives you calcium. Something your body needs anyway. If you're not sure, ask your doctor. See what she says. About Ultra. Historically, whenever you had a problem in your neighborhood, there was always someone to help you. Just when you needed them most. Today, you can still rely on Thrifty for low rates. Use your Montgomery Ward credit card at Montgomery Ward Car Rental at participating Thrifty locations. So whether you're traveling in your neighborhood or to someone else's, we're there. Your neighborhood Thrifty Car Rental, historically known for low rates. They're not Mopar parts, even if they say they'll fit and look like they'll fit. The question is, will they really fit? Mopar, the only parts made precisely for Chrysler Corporation vehicles, installed by the dealer. It's the only way to be sure. For Mopar parts and service, see your local Chrysler Corporation dealer. Yes, it's the official score after three matches. And uh, Sharon Bromley doing the, uh, the favor of carrying around the sign for us tonight. A beautiful young lady right here from Richmond. Fans are taking sides and they're ready for the title match. Keep in mind the pins do not carry over now. It's one game, mano a mano. 60 grand on top. before at least breaks it down for a 4-7 all right now does Parker Bone have the advantage having bowled already on this pair of lanes Monza got some practice shots but he's had all his success on one and two I would think yes that Parker does although th there's been a whole game bowl on since he was but he remember he finished out he had 10 strikes on this finished out with about the last nine in a row I, I understand a whole game but that was shot by the two righties that should have had very little effect on the left side you make a good point I hate to admit it you did you admitted it <laughs> I gotta put a check mark down somewhere for that Boz has been the tournament leader virtually all week long Trip six action there. Mazza trips out the six. Had a chance to talk to him and ask him, hey, what does the Weber family mean to you and what does your family mean to you? I can't. I love my father. I love Dick Weber. Not in the same way, but I do love Dick Weber. Uh, he's done a great job for the sport. Um, I've had some good talks with him through the years. Uh, 
he inspired his, his son to bowl. Look at this little guy here. You think maybe next, uh, maybe in the next generation, maybe he'll, uh, he'll be uh, a pro bowler. He's a little wild right now, but who knows? But the Weber, Weber family is great, and Dick Weber, we owe a great deal the sport of bowling uh, for being a great ambassador. Weber started as a pin boy and has reached the pinnacle of the sport. Number one ambassador around the world for bowling. And he's re reached that revered stage. I mean, he just fans throughout the country just love that man. And to top it all off, he's David Letterman's personal bowling coach. Right, right. Yeah. What more could a guy ask for? He bowls in the street, he bowls in the studio, he bowls everywhere. Doesn't make any difference. He's bowled on an airplane. That's true, he has. Not very well. Well, a little uh, feel it out action here. Well, I think for Parker, a shot on each lane now into the heat. He made some brilliant adjustments after the first game. I anticipate he'll do the same here for the title. Cross lane at the six pin. You wonder how much emotion both of them used up getting to this game. Good point because in the position round, the game that normally determines who the top five are on the national tour, the players are spent. Uh, now you have to come back and figure out a way to get get it up one more time uh, or you get ready it, for the title it, game. It's like bowling that position around Denny and tying and have to bowl in another game. Right. Because you pace yourself to give it all in that atmosphere. And they gave it all in that mm. game that just concluded. Especially Parker. Does he have enough left? Like I said, adjustment number one has been made. Come on. Baza, the four-step delivery. Well, he tripped it out the first time, went right back to the same hit the second time, leaves the 10 pin this time. Has to be a bit of uncertainty in his mind with lanes three and four. He's got to give it a little more room, though, for sure. At the spare, dead center. John Maz, a four-step player, watching push and step at the same time. See how he pushes it way out. Now, nice free swing right in time. Hits the next to the last step, the ball at the peak of the backswing. There's the pivot step into the nice long slide. Nice and smooth, and lets it go. That's how he's looked ever since I've seen him bowl. And without question, we'll attribute the majority of his success on the national tour to Team USA head coach Fred Morton, who has spent hours and hours working the past three or four years with John Mazel. And his wife likes that shot. Parker checking the approach, cleaning it up. Parker now with an opportunity to take an early 10-pin lead with a strike on lane four. All that fiddling around going to the foul line, I don't like that. I'll be surprised if he doesn't. this guy I know one thing Mazda better get lined up quick we also had a chance to chat with Parker and since we're talking about families uh, he discussed his well the Weber family is obviously established uh, Dick Weber was out on tour for quite a few years and Pete Weber followed right in his footsteps and, and now he's the leading tour's leading money winner ever of all time uh, as far as for my family, I love my family dearly. I, I really wish I could spend more time at home with them, but obviously my job's out on the road. And, and my two young ones here at Park and Evan, I'll tell you, they're going to, I love them to death, they're going to grow up and do whatever they want to do in life. He's trying to become the breadwinner. He may bring home quite a bit if he keeps striking. There's Mary looking on right there. Boy, look at the oh. tension on that face. Jeez. Oh, 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 <laughs> if you think it's tough bowling, try sitting by and watching. Yeah. You know, like the other thing you got to factor in, those guys have talked about Dick Weber. I think either one of these guys would be thrilled to win this inaugural championship with Dick's name on it. Well, Miles is going to win. He better strike here. And he goes high for the 2-4-7. This is why he picked all three games on one and two. That was my... Now, let me ask you this. And, and again, this is something that, that we can look back on, discuss strategy. He had a pretty good lead after two games. 
do you think it ever went through his mind where maybe he would bowl Parker on this right pair of lanes so at least he could get a game in competition on the championship pair? Something you could ask him, Dan. It may have been a fleeting thought, but I think his main priority and focus was to get to the championship match and then trust his ability to adjust once he got to the pair and, and be able to respond. So far, he hasn't been able to do it. Maja down by 20. Pretty good shot there. Seven pin. Never even thought about disappearing. Yeah, the ten pin took up made it took a while to make up its mind whether it was going to fall, and it finally did. But right now, Parker just in a commanding position. His opponent can't seem to hit the right lane, can't get a double, hasn't had one through six frames. He's leading by 20 some pins an opportunity to really put the hammer in the next two shots. Parker taking a little extra time. Mary's not even looking. She's looking down. Kind of blinked up a little bit down. Just gonna wait and listen. Oh my goodness. I don't blame her for not oh. looking. Two, four, seven, ten. The pressure's really mounting with each successive shot. He made a split similar to this in the previous match, the first frame on lane one. He's got to play the same shot to send that two pin over into the ten, let the ball take out the four and the seven. Make it up, eight out. We got basically an even match, Dan. What one shot can do in this sport. That, that was the key shot because, as you mentioned, if he, if he throws a strike in the sixth, Maza really is in difficult position. And all of a sudden, the open pops up, and Maza says, you know what, this is this is my game. I know it has to be now. Yeah. I mean, he just pumped new life back into him. That adjustment will be made on lane four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sure, smile comes back. See if Parker does. All right, one errant shot. Sometimes at this level you can make one bad shot and still win a title. Let's see if that's the case. Well, you know, if he strikes there in the sixth, he's 31 up. Strike again, 41 up. He's only three with Mazza with the ball in hand. Hit the pocket. Hit the pocket. And hit the pocket. The seventh in says, I'm not falling yet. Hornpin gave it a tap, but uh, still not a solid hit. He had a lot of off hits, though, over on one and two. He's just not carrying on this pair. You see it hit kind of weak. And that four pin just dies in the channel, doesn't get out. Still talking to himself, saying positive things, smiling, seems relaxed. His wife seems relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'll tell you what. Getting down three frames to go, Dan. It's, it's what is it, four pins? Four mm -hmm. pins of difference. 60,000 to the winner, 31,000 for second, 21 for third, 16 for fourth. Oh, there it is. He's going to finish on that lane, too, Dan. Oh, Mazza trying to loosen up, waving to the crowd, playing to the audience. Meanwhile, Parker, all business. Yeah, it really is the difference of how these two are approaching, isn't it? I mean, it's amazing. The wives are the same way. Mary's not looking again. She's just looking down. He shot. Oh, he right just up. made him explode out there. Oh, look at her now. <laughs> oh, she's blown out there. She threw that shot right with him. Explode him out of there, Dennis. <laughs> Ninth frame. Oh, did he snap that one or what? 14 ahead. This makes 24 if he strikes here. <laughs> <laughs> Fans here reacting to the big screen. Now Parker backs off, so it may end up a deterrent before it's all over. Now she gets a round of applause. Intensity of the wide. Ooh, maybe that'll 
Parker, yes. relax him. Out to the edge. He's running. Oh, my goodness. It came back too much. The two, same thing, the two, four, seven, ten. Boy, he thought it was flush, and it overreacted. Oh, he's doing that again. That lane hooked over there. He's doing that again. That lane hooked over there. Now he has to gather himself. He's got to make it then. He has to make it. Definitely a makeable split. Same one he left earlier. Oh, what a bad break. Leaves the 10 pin. Opens in the ninth frame. Opens the door for Mazza. And all he can do now is back up, sit down, and watch Mazza go to work. For the baby. For the baby. And he knocks the seventh pin out. Wow, what a turnaround. He's up 12 now, Dan. This one locks it out. If he strikes here, it's over. In fact, nine spare strikes, it's over. Interesting because he didn't overreact to that strike right there because he knew he needed one more big hit. And he needed one more good shot. Parker lost count twice. Two big shots there. Come on, boy. Trying to focus in. Performing in the clutch. Staying loose when he was behind. Not an easy thing to do. Marvelous mental uh, discipline. Now we certainly have enough. Thumbs up. Oh, it's going to be a happy night from the Mazda home. Well, the excitement of the fans, I mean, the atmosphere of the arena, everything has made it a marvelous telecast. Parker again through the nose, just finishing out the string. John Mazza, my hat's off to him, boy. He never quit in this match. Hung in there, 216, a winner. Sensational final to a unique round-robin match play format. Parker Bohm the third will finish second. John Mazza first and I'll tell you what those two guys really put on a show Furpo and Bob Learn as well a really well, fun interesting tonight. telecast here tonight for Richmond Virginia when we come back we'll wrap things up Sports fans, you've seen the best. Now, Marv Albert's here to show you the rest. Lots of horsing around in the world of sports. There's 45 minutes of non-stop fun in Marv's great new video, the hilarious Albert Achievement Award. And best of all, your video's free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. In this great new video, Marv catches all the amazing footwork, agility, grace, and power that makes sports so much fun to watch. Hysterical! Call now, and you'll also get your choice of an authentic NFL Pro-Line hat. Free! Pick your favorite team. It's up to you. The Albert Achievement Awards video and the NFL hat of your choice make a great gift for yourself or your favorite sports fan. And it comes with 54 issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.39 an issue. Save over 52% off the cover price. For quicker delivery, use your credit card. Nobody's into sports like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. And now, a simple demonstration of what gives AMF's new King Cobra its powerful combination of hook and control. To create the King Cobra, we adapted the core technology of our immensely successful Cobra Ball and added our new Strike R reactive resin. A little more. More. Come on now, don't be shy with it. That's more like it. The new King Cobra from AMF, with more reactive resin than we've ever put in a bowling ball. The way I see it, 
the last thing people 50 and over should do is stay home sitting on their duffs. You gotta do things you've never done. You gotta go places you've never been. You gotta call 1-800-4-CHOICE and reserve a room at any quality, comfort, clarion, or sleep hotel where people 50 and over who don't want to sit on their duffs can get a 30% discount. Oh, getting older is not for sissies. It's like a big-time fight, John Mazza. You had to put up a big fight to end up a winner with this one. Well, I tell you, I'm, I'm really lucky. I never thought Parker would uh, be on the unfortunate side of throwing a couple of splits there. He's uh, one of the greatest bowlers in the world, has been for a long time, and I'm just, I'm the luckiest man in Richmond and in the earth, I tell you. These people are great. Well, you mentioned great bowling, great bowlers. Here is truly one of the greatest of all time, Dick Weber, and he has a beautiful trophy to present. John, on behalf of AMEP and Dick Weber Classic, uh, congratulations, and uh, don't cry, John. Thank You're you. a great champion. Thanks, Dick. I want to... Mr. Weber, and I, I watched Dick Weber kiss his son, and he's the proudest man on the earth, and uh, I want to say hello to my parents, because I know they're very proud of me. My mother had surgery down her knee. I love you, mother. Thank God, I'm glad you had me. So am I so glad. <laughs> a man of many words, uh, and a man with many dollars to bestow on you, the president of AMF, Phil Nicely, with a, with a terrific check. You bet. John, congratulations. As the leading qualifier, first we've got a check for you for $5,000. And then secondly, as the winner on behalf of AMF, our tournament namesake, first place check of $60,000. Thank you very much. I, I was asked a question earlier this week whether, you know, other athletes make big dollars, and I don't think a man should be judged upon what he makes. I think it's upon what his character is. But I will say something about AMF. They're awesome. This term is awesome. This company is awesome. And what they've done for the sport of bowling is fantastic in the year of 94, 95. And from here on in, I'm tell you what, I'm very fortunate. I've won a couple of titles with AMF Ninja Balls. And uh, thank you, Mr. Nisley, and thank you for the 2,000 employees at AMF. They're the best. All right, we'll be back to the Arthur Ashe Athletic Center in Richmond, Virginia, to talk to our newest champion, John Mazza, right after.